to Pentapathos TV. And this morning, we're going to see one of our first acts, which is going to be playing live at Pentapathos this year, the fantastic Trisha St. James and Alex DeVito. How did you first get together in this duet? Well, we were doing a show, we were doing a little shop of horrors, and Alex came along to play drums, and I was one of the leading ladies, so we just became friends um, and decided to test out whether musically we would go together. And we did. Yeah, yeah, it was a really, we hit it off straight away, really. Awesome, we had a bond straight away, that's what we need with mm -hmm. uh, with musicians, really, isn't it? Um, so how long have you been together? When was when was the Little Shop of Horrors and the first meeting? Oh, it was May, wasn't it? Yeah, we did our first gig in June last year, and yep. we'd only rehearsed for about six days for that gig, and then we did it and smashed it, didn't we? Oh, it was about 10 to 12 songs, insane yeah, amount. Very lucky. In such a short time, but we, we managed to do it just because of our backgrounds. You know, we're both musicians in our own right, so it was dead easy. So she mentioned you're both musicians in your own right. Um, where did you, to start with, with you, Alex, um, mm -hmm. how did you get started in music? What, where, did you, where were your inspirations? Musically? Well, uh, I've got a musical family, really. So my father yeah. has, has been the main inspiration, and he, he sort of started out when he was, well, the same age that I started out. You know, he was 11 years old, and he sort of did it that way. So it, the house has always had music in it and, and instruments and things like that. So um, I actually started with drums, and that's still my main instrument. Mm -hmm. I sort of started playing that when I was 11 years old, and I've been in several bands since then. Um, I've been in uh, one band which is still going called Space Bats, uh, and we've been playing for, gosh, 12, 13 years now. Um, and I'd always play guitar sort of on the side, because my, my older brother plays guitar quite a lot, and my dad plays bass, so I've always had that influence. Um, and then it was just this opportunity with Tess when it came along, I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go and, and see if I can play guitar, you know, mm -hmm. in, in a performance way, rather than just sort of bedroom playing and, uh, you know... I put the work in and it seems to have paid off, so it's it's great. And obviously we'll all hear the, uh, the comp how you complement each other as well, um, yeah, yeah. vocally and, and with the... Um, so with you, Tess, where were your inspirations? Where did you start with your uh, kind of singing and musical ability? Uh, well, I've been performing since I was very, very small and I started off singing as a child, really, a very young child, um, but then sort of lost confidence, so kind of grew in phobia about singing, really, so I didn't do it. I ran events for other people around a stage at Burnley Blues Festival mm -hmm. um, and a couple of other festival gigs and put other people on singing and was the organiser but people kept asking me to do it and then in the end my director at the theatre where I was um, persuaded me to audition for a musical and I got a main part awesome. and I've just sort of been pushing myself to do it really. Right um, that's how I got into this, really. Just yeah. thought, why not? Let's give it a go, kind yeah. of thing. Um, so, how would you describe your, your genre of music? Is it a bit of everything, or do you, you know, obviously it's acoustic, you've got your guitar there, and mm. then you sing and duet together? But how would you describe your genre? Happy, I'd say, would you? Happy, well, yeah, ele Feel eclectic. Good. So, if, you know, we take we take a, a lot of genres. We, we, you know, we've started off with quite a lot of 80s tunes, you know. Uh, yeah. Tess has been a big influence on what we play, and, you know, we sort of share what we want to do um, quite a lot. It, it, it's it's a sort of strange one without having a set list it. I mean we we play anything from very new tunes mm -hmm. to, you know, things from the seventies. Yeah. You know, we've got um we've got a Casey in the Sunshine band song in yeah. there, you know, as well as you One too. Republic that we're gonna Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> really you know, random you know, mix. So it's, it's, it's a nice mix though, it's it's good for you as well to keep that variety going so it doesn't come tedious that you play yeah. the same genre. Yeah, we try and mix it up all the time and surprise people and put our own twist on it rather than just copy what we you have. We have when you are gonna sing in a few minutes' time that you have a bit of a kind of a contrast, aren't yeah, you, with definitely. Pet Shop Boys of, and One and then One Republic as well. Um, it's all good fun. So 2016 for you, obviously you say you met uh, May, May, June time. How was that for you, gigging-wise? It had good fun in 2016? Yeah, we did, didn't we? We did all sorts. Yeah. And yeah. we do a lot of charity work, don't That's we? That's it, yeah. 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 Lots of charity work, lots of uh, gigs in smaller pubs, bigger mm -hmm. pubs, you know, as part of, um, not festivals, but sort of mini events with other bands. And, uh, yeah, we're just... We we genuinely do enjoy it for just playing it, you know. And we we've we've done a lot of stuff for free, and you know we just want to get our names out there, as it were. But um, you know we we just love it when we get on that stage. It's like we're completely different people. We, yeah. we Just you know we the, the banter between us. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's Fantastic. Fun. Right. Well, I think it's time for a song. And uh, Pet Shop Boys, It's a Sin, is going to be the first one that you're going to play. Yes. So uh, best of luck, and here it is. So it's a sin. Pet Shop Boys, Tess Thank you. and Alex. When I look back upon my life, it's always with a sense of 
shame I've always been the one to blame For everything I long to do No matter when or where or who Has one thing in common too It's a, it's a, it's a So, if you want to mention a little bit about Pendle Power Fest and how that came about. Yeah, uh, well, Lee got in contact with me last year about Pendle Power Fest. They were looking for a presenter. Um, and as I said before, I've done blues festivals and things like that. So, I'm quite familiar with presenting things and being compare. And we just came together. So, um, yeah, I presented Pendle Power Fest last year. Awesome. And we'll be doing so again this year. Um, and last year I was just introducing the bands yeah. and I helped Lee book some of the other bands but this year we'll be playing as well as introducing the other bands as well so it's a win-win really Fantastic, and Alex you'll be there as well Oh yes, yeah I wasn't there last time in fact I remember dropping you off Yeah, I, you I, I, I dropped her <laughs> off and uh, I, I was busy that evening for whatever reason but obviously I missed out on all the uh, fancy cars so I'll be yep. able to see them that'll be the best bit, that's all I'm going for <laughs> Well, Panda Power Fest is something that, that Lee introduced me to as well from Phone Call the other week and kindly got you two to, yeah. to get in contact kind of thing. It's uh, something I'll be attending. Fantastic summer event, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so ambitions for you two going forward the next few months in 2017. Any plans in particular or just keep doing what you're doing? Well, I think I think we'll just carry on what we're doing. We, we've got some, you know, great little things planned um you know for our not only our setup but what we're playing you know I, I recently got a loop pedal so i'm sort of getting my head around that so that'll add another layer of um not complexity but sort of you know rhythmic 
addition to, to the, the band or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we've got other little bits of percussion. And, and then, obviously, we the sky's the limit. We're, we're always looking for, you know, the, the next best venue to play at, the next best festival or whatnot, you know. And Tess is really good for connections, uh-huh. so, you know, I'm confident that she's going to find us some really good places to play and hopefully we'll just carry on going upwards and we're going to try and get some proper recordings done of ourselves and write some of our own material you know because i've been doing that in my own capacity for years now but um it'd be nice to do it in sort of an acoustic capacity i generally do it with obviously drums because that's what i've always done but yeah it'd be be great to sort of do some stuff because we're inspired by the songs that we play you know the ones that we love we sort of think you know it'd be great to do a song of our own that sounds like that yeah, ultimately, I think the album will be the next step for us because we've discussed it a lot. Yeah. Um, it's about time we got into the studio and, and did it, really, mm. instead of talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to do this year's the year. Fantastic. Um, so we're going to mention how guys listening on Ribble FM can get in contact with you, looking at your social media and stuff. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll touch upon that uh, a little bit very shortly. Um, but if you don't mind, One Republic... That love runs out is uh, beckoning. Yes, this is our new song. We're we're slightly nervous. <laughs> Don't be. We'll Sounded it. fantastic. So uh, here we go. Here's uh, love runs out. One Republic, Tess and Alex. <laughs> I'll be your light, your match, your burning sun I'll be the bright in black that's making you run I will feel alright, I will feel alright Cause we'll work it out, yeah we'll work it out I'll be doing this if you had a doubt To the love and out, to the love and out I'll be your ghost, your game, your stadium I'll be your fifth Thousand clapping like one And I feel alright Yeah, I feel alright Cause we'll work it out Yeah, we'll work it out And we'll start a fire And we'll shut it down Till the love runs out Till the love runs out I got my mind made up And I can't let go I'm killing every second Till it takes my soul Out in front of me, got an angel on my shoulder and my stuff in these. But mama raised me good, mama raised me right. Mama said, Do what you want, say your prayers at night. And I'm saying them, cause I'm so devout. Till the love runs out, till the love runs out. I got my mind made up and I can't let go. I'm killing every second till it takes my Burning sun, I'll be the bright in black that's making you run. I got my mind made up, and I can't let go. I'm killing every second till it takes my soul. Ooh, I'll be running, ooh, I'll be running till the love runs out, till the love runs out, and we'll start a fire and we'll shut it down. Um, we also have an email address outcryarts at gmail.com you can contact us on there 
anytime and my phone number is also on all the social media sites as well you don't want to give that a lot now yeah, but it's true it's true that's the way you can get in touch with us like that, <laughs> yeah, it's it fine. Is awesome. <laughs> so plenty of uh, plenty of avenues that people can um well contact you on um so looking in the next few weeks is to people to pop on down to see you playing is there anything that you want to just give a quick plug to well, we're at the Paddock in Burnley next Friday evening, um, and that's a long gig. That's three sets all in one evening, so you get a lot for your money. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> it's free entry, actually. And then after that, um, I would say our next big thing is Pendle Power Fest, which yep. is in May, bank yep. holiday weekend. And following that, we'll be doing the toy drive, giving out toys to children in local hospitals, courtesy of Pendle Power Fest. Awesome. And uh, we are going to do at Ribble FM a, a weekend of a Pendle Power Fest kind of themed things, if you like, and uh, especially on my show in a, a few weeks' time. So do listen out for that. But Tess and Alex, thank you very much uh, for popping in to see me today. No awesome. Problem. Thank you. And um, best of luck with uh, with your careers. Thanks for having us. Awesome. Thank you.